there are 71 APD officers that also serve in the National Guard. And with President Trump's order to send troops to the border, some of APD's finest could be deployed. But the police union says it could have an impact on crime right here in Albuquerque. For us, for Albuquerque, it's just a little concerning because I couldn't afford the three retirements that we had last week. You know, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be hard for us to contend with a, a Title 10 order where, you know, 50 to 100 police officers get deployed. But that could be a reality we have to face. But it's one that we've faced in the past. Don't Back in 2010, then Governor Bill Richardson state. sent troops to the border wall. That's when APD had 1,050 officers. Now that number is just 878. We've never been faced with this type of problem in the city of Albuquerque, not this bad. The police union says the shortage is already causing problems in the department. We have increased workload, increased expectations. We're reforming this police department. Our police officers are doing more with less and we're 400 officers short. Mayor Tim Keller does have a plan to address the shortage by hiring 100 police officers each year until they hit their goal of 1,200 AP officers. It's kind of embarrassing to be in a position where we're this understaffed and, and, and we have to be concerned about this. Right now, we do not know how many or if any APD officers will be deployed to the wall. If they are, APD cannot do anything about it. A military order supersedes any local law enforcement. Today, without this deployment, they're, they're, I mean, our community is negatively impacted. I mean, there's folks at home right now that have, they're waiting two hours for, for somebody to come take a report. There's folks at home right now that aren't even calling the cops because it's just not worth it. We reached out to APD for a comment. As of right now, they haven't responded. <laughs>